Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at how to connect your Android device to a Windows PC using Visor. Visor is a fantastic tool that allows you to mirror and control your Android device directly from your computer. So before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So if you like the video, please make sure you comment or like it as well. So let's get into it then. So before we get started, obviously we have to download and install the, the software Visor to allow us to be able to connect to our Android. So to do that, let's open a browser. So as you can see, I've opened a browser with Google. So once you, you, you're through to that, enter Visor here. So <clears throat> once you enter the Visor on Google, this will like the first result will be www.visor.io. So we click on the first result. So this is what we get. So here, obviously, we'll be able to download it. So we click on the download. And here, we will be able to download it on our Windows, Mac, Linux, and browser. For my case, I have a Windows, so I'm, I'll click on the Windows to download. Yeah, so as you can see here now, I've got the download started, yeah? So it might take a while, so I'm, I will just pause the video while the, the download completes, okay? So I'll get, I'll, I'll get back while, while the download completes. Okay, so now that the download is completed, let's click on it here. So as you can see, I've got the download completed, so let's click on it. So as you can see here now, we've got this prompt. So first, let's, let's minimize this here. So here, obviously we have to allow the, the we have to allow access to this um, software. So we click allow soft, allow access. So now, basically we've got it, we've got it, uh, we've got the installation completed. So basically, this is what this is what we have now. So next, we have to um, next we have to en enable USB debugging on our device. Yeah. So this allows your computer to communicate with your phone. So this is how we do it. Basically, I cannot show my phone on the screen right now, but this is how we do it. So with your Android device, you go to settings. Go to settings on your Android device. Scroll down to about phone and tap on the builder number seven times to enable de developer mode, uh, developer options. Yeah, I will show you, I will show you this later on once we've got everything up and running and how to do it. But obviously, you need to follow what I'm saying right now. You go to settings and on your Android device, you scroll down to about phone and tap on the builder number seven times to enable developer options. So once the developer option is enabled, you, you go you go inside, you open the developer options and toggle on USB debugging. Okay, so basically you turn on the USB debugging. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do right now. I'm just I'm going to connect my Android device to my PC using the USB. So I'll pause it for a minute. So once you've actually enabled the USB debugging and you plugged in your Android device to the PC, you get a prompt on your on your Android device that to allow access to the phone data. So this connect the connected device will be able to access data on this phone. So you you click on allow. So as you can see, I've got a pop up showing on the phone. So it's, it shows it's, it's connected. Okay. So we have to wait. But basically, I have to go to the, the settings, my settings, and enable the USB debugging, I think. So 
So once you 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 you, you turn on the USB device, it, it, uh, you get a prompt on the on the on the Android device that allow USB debugging. So you click on OK. So as you can see here now, once I clicked on OK on the device, I've got this bit showing here. Okay, so you can view the wire wirelessly. So you, obviously you can connect your your Android device wire wirelessly. So basically, I've also got um, a prompt on the Android device. It's saying allow USB debugging. So basically, just to check the computer's RSA key, fingerprint, and whatnot. So we click on allow. Yeah. So basically, we have everything. So once we click on display, we should get our device. So basically, there will be some sort of installations and whatnot here yeah, before the device opens. So let's 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 um, wait a little bit for the for everything to to install, and then we should see our, our Android device on the on the screen. So let's take a moment just to let's wait a bit. So I'm I'm going to pause the video while the whole thing. Okay, basically, as you can see, there's no need for pausing. So as you can see, I've got my physical Android phone connected to the to, to my PC. So you can control your Android device from the PC by using the mouse. So you can go back like this. You can scroll down. So basically, I'm actually controlling my phone, but you can it can reflect um, on my PC. So I I'll go back. So as you can see here, to be able to enable the uh, USB debugging, you come to the about. This is not all Android, but most Android machines. So basically, you look for the model number. Here. So the model number, this, this bit. So you, you tap it, um, you, you tap on the build number seven times to be able to open or to be able to open the developer options. Okay. So now let's see. So as you can see, I have I have my Android device being shown on on the on my PC. So as you can see, it's not it's not very difficult to connect your Android device to your PC using the visor. So basically, this will help you in terms of actually developing your Android applications. If you want to connect your Android device to your uh, to Visual Studio, this makes it very easy for you to go out to go about it. Okay. So I will leave this video here. As you can see, it's very simple do all the connections okay so um, I'll leave it here if you have any issues you can drop a line below and I will, I will I will reply to you promptly basically if you haven't subscribed to the channel please also make sure you do subscribe to the channel and if you're not a member please consider being a member so that I'll be able to assist you personally with your with your queries okay so have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.